Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 8 and the final part of this RMS Oceanic tutorial. Uh, today's focus is of course the funnels, masts, final lifeboats, a couple of cargo hatches and some other crap that I haven't built over the past of the rest of the tutorial. So we're going to start with the ship's funnels. So we're going to go up to the back end of the ship's uh, wheelhouse, which is up on the top here. Go to the back wall of that and down to the centre block, which is the back wall here bottom center block down here and on the wood you're going to count back to the eighth block back so one two three four five six seven eight and we build three wide and then we want two out and then two back and then uh, four one two three four and then three one two three and then two like so same the other side we want two out two back and then four one two three four and then three in one two three and then two and then one to join them together and there we go there's the base of the funnel now before I build the funnel upwards we'll go and do the other funnel um, position first so we'll go to the second deck house which is behind this uh, sort of drum shaped building here so at the second deck house here on the center block again we're going to count back to the 23rd back so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So on the 23rd block, we do the same again. So three wide, two out, two back, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two. Same the other side, two out, two back, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and then two, and one. And there we go, that's the position of funnel number two. So the gap between them, in theory, I just measured the, the gap between them, so between the front of the second funnel and the back of the first funnel should be uh, it is four, uh, 54 blocks between the two funnels. So from the back of funnel 1 to the front of funnel 2 is 54 block gap. So there we go. Now I'm going to build the first funnel upwards and I'll just copy to the other funnel because they're, they're both the same. So go to funnel number 1 and we're going to build the ship... Uh, straight, well not straight up, but we'll do the funnel with the black black section straight and then I'll adjust that when we finish. So to build the yellow section up, what we're going to do uh, we're going to build up 11. So I'll start from the centre and build up 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then behind that we build 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then in black we go up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there we go. There's the f the uh, design of the funnel we want. And we want to build that same design on the front block of uh, all the sections of the funnel. So on the section there, 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 and so that's where you build the same design. So you build the same design on the front block of the front of the funnel. Front blocks of the front of the funnel, like so. And then on the back of the funnels you do the same as well. So on that block that block and across these blocks as well you do that same design so I'm going to use copy paste to do this because it just well actually I'll, I'll do it freehand as much as I can so basically just build the funnel up to that exact same design same with the next row So yeah, there's the first few sections down to the outside edge. Do the same again. And then the black section again. So as you're building it round, you gradually see it starting to take shape, even though there's gaps in between. So do the same thing on the back as well. down at the bottom to the next rows very boring I know but you know it has to be done so I do the last row on the outside just to give you an idea because it's the same on both sides just build the same design la -de -da -de -da, and all things like that there we go so that's one side done 
and you can see it looks something like that so you just carry on the same thing all the way around with the same design all the way around and what I'll do or what you can do is go on the inside now once you've got both halves and half done just go on the inside and fill in the gaps and it should all look nice and neat and I'll do the other do the back end as well do the smaller gaps first and then of course the bigger gaps as well and then ooh, fill in the last black gap and there we go that's one half of the funnel done it should look something like that all right so what I'm going to do is just quickly copy that to the other side because of course the funnel is the same on both sides um, got one more section to fill in actually the center section on the back I'll just fill that in quickly because I've not added that And then of course I just copy that to the other side. And just go uh, copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, that's the funnel done on both sides. So now we've got a fully cylindrical funnel. And now for the um, the slanting of the funnel, so you can see on the prototype there the funnel does slant at the top slightly. So we'll go to the top. And from the side, you're going to count to the sixth block back. So if you go for the front, if you look at it on the side, go to the front block and count this block as number one. So that's number one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth block, we remove the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth block. So that basically makes the funnel slant back. We do the same on the other side. So remove those blocks there. And there you go, there's the funnel slanted, or slightly. And we do the same on the bottom as well. So we go down to the bottom of the, or the top of the of the yellow, and count back to the sixth again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and replace the yellow with the black. And there we go, there's the funnel, sort of slanted, but it works nonetheless. And that's how it should look. So I do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, it was. And there we go that's how it should look and it don't look too bad in my opinion so there we go that's the uh, funnel majority of it done so we need to, need to now add the ladder to the front of the funnel so it's basically a grey line probably use grey wool for this one because it looks better use grey wool I don't find it that one because it's got more texture to it so use the grey wool up along the front of the yellow on the centre of the funnel all the way to the top of the yellow like so so it looks like that and then we get our ladder and we add the ladder going all the way down to the bottom and there we go there's the uh, funnel in place or the ladder in place and it should look something like that now I've got a whistle on the uh, prototype over there what I used for the whistle is a uh, cobblestone wall so I use that and we put cobblestone wall about one block up from the bottom of the yellow uh, of the black sorry and there you go there's the whistle and it looks cruddy like that and uh, there we go that's most of the funnel done so we've got one more job to do which is on the inside we've got to add the grill across the uh, top of the funnel so one block down from the top just add the grills across like so and there we go there's the funnel top like so. And there we go, that's funnel number one done. You just do the same with the exact same design with funnel number two. Maybe without the whistle, but it's up to you. And uh, it should look kind of like what it looks like over there in the distance. So um, one more job first before we uh, do that. We're going to add a little fence or handrails around the base of the funnel. So we'll get our iron bars. And from the bottom of the funnel, basically from the uh, center of the, uh, or basically from the ladder there, you just build it out build out one two three four five and then across the back or across the, along the side and then back in again at the base of the funnel like so so basically a little little fence around the base of the funnel like so I'll do the same the other side so one two three four five and then down the side 
back in again at the back of the funnel like so. And there we go, that's the uh, first funnel done. And uh, there we go. So what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut when I move on to do the other funnel and then I shall return after that. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've managed to get both funnels in place and its ship should look something like that. Looks rather marvellous and has its sort of silhouette now. And uh, they don't look too bad. The funnels probably are a bit too tall or a bit too skinny, but you know, it's the thing at the time. Um, yeah, got two funnels in place. So that's that little job done there. Uh, what we're going to do now is add two cargo hatches on the stern, which I did not add previously. So we're going to fly over to the stern deck house, uh, which is this section here. And there's two cargo hatches, one that goes in front and one that goes behind. So we're going to start with the one behind. And these are only small, ha uh, small hatches and they're basically just, well, blocks really. There's no detail to them. So between the poop deck and the deck house, roughly, say, two block gap from the walls, build... Uh, what, what size is it? It's nine wide, I think. So centre block, and then one, two, three, four that way, one, two, three, four that way, and the sides are four. One, two, three, four. You can make it five if you want. One, two, three, four, and then join them together across the back, and then just fill in the whole gap with blocks. So there's no real detail to this. It's just basically a cargo hatch cover, if you like. So that's that one there. That's in the gap between the deck house and the raised stern deck. And the next one goes in front of the of the large deck house. This one could be slightly bigger if you want to because there's more space. So roughly three block gap from the front of the stern deck house. We go one, two, three, say four blocks forward. And we'll build a centre block and build this one seven wide. So no, hang on. How wide was the other one? Nine wide. So build this one nine wide again. So one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way, and then uh, say six for the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then join them together across the front or back, whichever way you're building, and then just of course fill in the roof or the cover of the ha of the hatch, and it should look something like that. And yep, there's no special detail to it. It's just that, plainly just that. Uh, so that is that little job. Um, I don't really know what else to do. Oh, the masts. We've not, we've not done the masts yet. So we're going to fly back to the front end of the ship. We're going to add these masts. There's three of them. And we've already got the placement of funnel of mast number th uh, number one, uh, which is on the forecastle. And so the base of the funnel is already in place. So I've reduced that down to the base there. And the, uh, the mast itself is uh, four sections of 15 high. So if you can see over there, on a prototype it goes up in sections and there each section is 15 high so it's one two three four sections of 15 so we should do the first one so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen like so. And then four down from the top, we build out three each side, and then five down from there, one, two, three, four, five, build out five, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Now if you look at, well, if I look at the prototype from a distance, I can see I've got the black blocks in the ends like so. This is just something that I do, there's no real necessity for it, but I think it gives a bit more of a design. And there we go, that's uh, mast number one. And uh, it looks something like that. So that is that little job. Now what we're going to do now is move on to mast number two. And this goes behind funnel number two. Uh, and it goes, you've got the funnel number two there. And behind the deck house that the funnel sits on, you've got this large white uh, skylight, uh, which is that big section there. And it goes behind that. So if we go to the centre block of the back wall. And uh, it goes... Uh, it goes two behind the deck house, so one two block gap, or th uh, one block gap, sorry, so one there, and on the second block back we build the mast. So once again, four rows of fifteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I think that's it. And then once again, say 
I can't remember how many it was, but we we'll go four down from the top. One, two, three, four. Build out three. And then five down from there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five out. One, two, three, four, five out. And then replace said blocks or a couple of blocks with black. And it should look something like that. And that's follow um, mast number two. And then the last mast goes on the uh, ship's stern deck house, or not stern, but the raised stern deck, which is what some call the poop deck. And it is uh, on the third block back on the front wall. So the front wall here of the stern deck, basically where the bridges are. So between that, we're going to go to the third block back. So one, two, three, roughly where this red block is, which isn't needed anymore. And we do the same again, so 15 up in 4s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. And then same again, three down, 4 down from the top, we build out 3. And three, and then one, two, three, four, five down, build out five. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and then replace the end blocks or one in from the end with black. And there we go. It just sort of adds a bit more detail because I've got no rigging on the ship. I don't tend to do rigging, and I probably never will do rigging, but there we go. Anyway, that is the masts done, and it don't look too bad. So I'm just checking my notes to see what needs doing, so bear with me. Right, so what we're going to do now is go to the stern deck house. We've got, f I've got eight lifeboats to add on there. Uh, so if I fly over to the prototype and get an idea on how this is laid out, I'll, I'll do the basics and then we'll add the uh, rest over time. So there's the eight lifeboats, as you can see. We've got davits on, on the sides, four davits on each side, and two boats up the side or along the side. And then there's two boats on the inside of the deck uh, on each side so there's four boats on the outside four on the inside and it looks something like that how it's laid out so that's what you want to achieve but I'll do the basics and get that out of the way so we'll fly over to our stern deck house and it's the same funnel des uh, not funnels but same uh, davit design which is uh, say from the front of the deck of the deck house build or count to the third block back and build out one and then it's is it five up so one two three four five and then we're on our court stairs which are there so we go stairs stairs and stairs and then two forward and build the stairs facing the right way and then at the bottom of the davit build down four one two three four like so and then leave a 13 block gap so one three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and on the 14th block we do the same again so one out and then one, two, three, four, five up, stairs, stairs, and stairs, and then two in, and then four down, one, two, three, four, and then leave a single block gap and build another davit. So that's one block, and then one, two, three, four, five up, stairs, stairs, preferably the right way up, and stairs, and then two in, and then four down, one, two, three, four. And then another 13 block gap, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And on the 14th block we build again, so 1 out. And if you look on the deck, you can see the deck curves inward slightly. This will be a slight issue when we build the boat, so build me on that one. But we'll build the davit nonetheless. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. Stairs, stairs, and stairs. And then 2 blocks in, and then 4 down. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I suggest you do the same on the other side, get them out of the way. So I shall quickly uh, copy this to the other side. So I shall quickly do the copy paste. So get our lifeboats in and out, out of the way. Not lifeboats, but the davits. Now I shall use uh, copy. Where's the flip button gone? There is flip and paste. And there we go. There's our davits on the other side. So we've got those out of the way now. We've got the davits on each section so I shall start with the back lifeboat first because the, 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 the lifeboat is actually sat on the on this sort of in connect, uh, sort of interchange not intersection of cur the curve of the, of the hull so 
We start at the uh, back davit of the back set, and we count one, two. Actually, go one, go from the davit and go one forward, and then one, two, three in, and then we build the lifeboat base 13 long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Or is it 14? You build it 13 or 14. It should be the basically the length of the gap between the of the davits. So I believe I've made a bit of a cock up here. So bear with me on this one. So I think yeah, the gap. I've 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 made a mistake here. I've, I've I counted it 13, but actually made it 14. So in actual fact, it is 13 the gap between the two davits. But I've actually accidentally made it 14. So if he made it 13, then he's better than me. It's just that I've cocked up. But anyway, I've got the base in place. So I'm, I'll extend it by one just to compensate. So the base is there, and then we build at the end of at the end of the base. We build two forward and one up. Same at the back, two forward, one up, and then we build the base of the boat. It's the same design we've done on the side of the ship. So just get these couple of boats out of the way. So there we are, and then build out two, two, and then one and two. Same at the back, two out and two out, one and two out, and then build whichever direction you want. So and then just fill in the space. And then of course the gra the grey canvas over the top. There we go, there's the first lifeboat added there. So as before, it's sort of the same thing carried on really. So you, you add the first boat between the davits and then you add the second boat between the next set of davits. And you do the same on the other side. And then what you do, from the base of the boat, if you're doing the boats from the inside, from the base you're going to count inwards. Uh, one, two, three, and then four, five, and then on the sixth block you build the next keel. So. So you've got a, a six block, a five block gap between each keel, basically. So from the side, so that, so that when you build the boat, the width of the boat is like that, basically. That's the width of the boat, and it's sort of like a V. And you'll have a space of one block between the boat on the left and the boat on the right. So that's how you want to lay them out. So I won't bother building any more boats. I'll do a jump cut while I do that. So I'll just giving you a rough idea on where the boats go. So you've got the davits on the sides, so and if I, if I fly over to the prototype again. Just gives you an idea on how they're laid out. So, as you can see, got the eight boats on there, and of course, we've got the boats down here on the side of the gant of the um, side of the ship there. And I've also added more detail to these. I've added um, sort of wood wood uh, posts to connect the boat to the davit. I didn't actually do that on the on the uh, on the build, but I did on the prototype, and I left that out. But never mind. You can see here, that's basically what I've done. Just added a couple of sticks, and that's it. So that is the detail you need for the uh, uh, for the build on the stern. So I shall do a jump cut while I um, uh, sort that out, and then we'll move on again. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. I've got all the lifeboats in place, and now the ship should look something like that. Uh, yeah, nothing really special, but uh, no, it looks alright. So that's that little job done there. So one more job. Well, I keep saying one more job, but there's still more jobs to do. Going to fly to the front end of the ship's superstructure now and add some handrails. And these will also support the ship's bridge wings as well. So we're going to go to the centre of the uh, deck below the wheelhouse. So the wheelhouse is there. And go to the centre of the deck below, which is down here. And we're going to add handrails from the centre all the way out to the side. All the way down to the side there. And then down to the first davit, basically. So we'll just build along the side up to that first davit there. And then on the bottom of the deck of the not deck house, but the bridge wings here, we're going to add uh, the bridge wing. Uh, the bridge wing itself is one, two, three, four, five long. So on each corner, and a couple of posts going down like so, gives it a bit of support. And if you want to, you can add one in the middle as well. So there you go, got a bit of support there. So I'll do the same out to the other side, and that should be that. So that to the side like so and then down to the first davit on the side there and then of course 
the three posts underneath the bridge wings. Like, like so. There we go. There we are. That's our little job done there. And it don't look too bad, do it? All right, so now a little more detail to go on the ship's bridge wings on the top. So we're going to get our brown carpet, everyone's favourite carpet, because it hides all the shit stains. Uh, we're going to go and add brown carpet along the top of the top of the bridge wings. Like so, just gives it a bit more uh, design, like so. And sort of um, the wood top, it gives it the effect of the wood topping, wood top to the uh, the uh, handrail, not handrails, but the uh, uh, what they call the walls basically around the uh, bridge. So they got the front done there, and then we do the same around the other side. And around the back of the bridge, where you see, ah, oh. and there we go. That's that side done there. So that's the bridge wings done, and it don't look too bad. And that's that little job. And I think one more job in construction wise is to add the compass platform really which is going to be a real bastard to build because I sort of made it up as I went along when I built it on the prototype so we're going to get wood fencing which is or oak fencing which is what we need and we're going to need oak wood planks as well because uh, that's part of the design where's oak wood planks there so we're going to get hold of these and we're going to go I'm just trying to think actually so it's five wide so if we go and so I'll go to the prototype this may make things a little bit easier for me uh, how do we do this so it is sort of third out from the centre basically. So if we go back again, and this isn't going to go well, I know. We can sort of make this up as you go along, really. So we go third from the centre. So one from the uh, go to the centre and then go one back and then go th second block uh, two two out to the side. So the centre is there and then two out. Build one, two, three up in on wood wood posts. Same the other side. One, two, three. Same on the back, one, two, three, and then again, one, two, three, like so. And then we join them together across, like so, and then across. Basically, join them all together, front to back, left to right, whichever you like. Like so, and then we fill in the middle all with posts. So it makes it look like scaffolding, like so. And then one in from the end, or diagonally in from the edge, you build in one, two, three up again. One, two, three. So it's the same design, but uh, a bit narrower. So it sort of looks kind of like that. Kind of look uh, like a dem <laughs> dem uh, disfigured insect. Uh, and then on the top, we add oak planks like so and then we add a fence around that and there we go <laughs> and uh, we can on the inside here add fencing like so and there we go there's the design looks absolutely terrible doesn't it but that's what I've come up with and uh, yeah it can be uh, interpreted in any way you want but I just cannot be bothered to do any more design with it but if, what we can do is add a bit more to it underneath Give it a bit more structure because it does look quite flimsy. So there's a bit more underneath there. And a bit more around the back there. And there we go. It looks a bit better, doesn't it? He lied. And uh, yeah, it looks like a, I don't know, a Dalek that tried too hard, if you know what I mean. Yeah, enough said. Anyway, that's that little shit piece done there. And now the last job for today, and the last job ever for this ship, is to add the handrails. Now the handrails will go on selected parts, and not on all the parts. So we'll get our handrails again. And we'll start... Uh, I think where they go, because a lot of the, the ship structure did not have handrails on. So we'll start down here anyway. We'll start down where the compass platform is. Cause it's on a raised deck anyway. It's on a platform there, and it's on a raised deck. So we'll add handrails around the said raised deck around here. And there we go, and same on the other side. Like so. And what else do we need them? We don't need them on the deck houses for some reason. But we need them on the end of the boat deck. So just looking over the prototype. 
and there is not a lot needed. So basically, the end of the uh, the boat deck. Basically, so we'll go from the last lifeboat, and we'll go roughly from the end of the last lifeboat on the main deck, and build back from there, and then around the back of the boat deck. And I shall try from there. There we go. That should be okay there. And then up the other side. And there we go. That's the handrails added there. And I think that's all we need, really, because the ship does not have a lot of handrails. And there, yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. So I'll uh, call that at the end of the build. Let's quickly look over our build and admire it, what we have. And uh, it don't look too bad, do it? So that's eight parts we've done, it's taken to build this. And um, yeah, it's not uh, not the huge, not the biggest of builds, but you know, it's done. A lot of people requested it and I finally got around to doing it. Anyway, that is it for the, uh, the Oceanic. Haven't had my usual rant, which I normally do during these builds, but nonetheless, that's no problem. And we'll call it a day there. So that is the, uh, like I say, the Oceanic. Uh, thanks very much for watching, subscribing, and supporting me throughout the past few years. Hopefully things will continue, but I don't know how long for, because things are all going to shit. And uh, we'll see from then. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return with another video soon. So, um, yeah, bye for now.